Today, I want to talk about pucks. Now, if you've been with me for a while or you've gone back and watched some of my old videos, you may remember I did a review about two years ago on the set of pucks. In fact, it's this set right here. This is the same set I bought then. I still use it to this day. I actually have the box that came. I still keep the box. That's where I store my pucks in. And I had a couple issues in that, in that review I did. It was two things I kind of questioned. And I, in the two years since using them, I have answers to those questions, as well as I figure it's been a while. A lot of you may not have gone back and watched that. So I wanted to go back, do another review, and let everybody know my thoughts on the pucks and why I think you should go get yourself a set. So let's go and jump in. First thing I want to do to start about is talk about what pucks are. The pucks are a stabilizing system. You put one at each corner of the board, it locks the boards, keeps them from moving, keeps them from shifting. If you've ever thrown without them, especially on a concrete surface like this, boards want to bounce, they want to walk. So you're throwing, you know, I can kick this and the board can move. I can kick this, that board's not going anywhere. That board is locked and it's stable. Why does that matter? Well, if you don't have the pucks and you're playing every round or every few rounds, you got to keep readjusting the board to get it back where it is. Cornhole is a lot like shooting free throws in basketball. You're, you're, you're in one spot and you're throwing the same throw, same distance every single time. So you, it's a muscle memory. You train that throw, you get used to that distance. So you know this hole is 30 feet away from the front of the board or, or however far away, depending on where you step and where you throw at. It's, it's that same distance every time. But if you get to play in and your boards are walking back and back and back, and next thing you know, they're three or four inches behind where they should be, and you go to shoot an airmail, <clears throat> if you throw, shoot it here and you hit it right, it's gonna land on the hole. If you throw it here, you very well could land short and miss. You could throw one up here and you could very well hit the front of the board and front board. Whereas if you hit same spot here, you're on the board and you're sliding up the board. So it can make a difference in gameplay. It can affect your PPR. It can frustrate you. So having the boards locked in place, not moving, it's less frustration, less stress. It makes for a more enjoyable game. Let me show you how easy it is to use pucks on a flat surface, hard surface. And this is not smooth concrete. It's rough concrete. It's dirty. I'm outdoors here, all weather conditions, all seasons. You can see in my videos as you watch the leaves change, the trees in the background, you can see the grass dying and growing. You can be cold, hot, wet, dry, whatever you're throwing. But these pucks work throughout the whole time that I'm throwing. It's really simple. You're just going to peel this cover off right here. You're going to use the gel pad. And I actually will, I put my boards up where I want them first before putting the puck down. I put the boards up, get them where I want them. Then I take, put my front two in, lock the board in place, and then I go pick the back up. And all you're just lifting the leg up, you're sliding this under, you're putting it down, pull a press, that, that's in place. That board's not going anywhere. It's locked. It can't move this direction because the side pucks. It can't move that direction because the side rail's there. It can't move back because of these, and it can't move forward because it's on the front. So the board can't go anywhere. It's going to stay right here. Even if, like, if you're bumping it, you're hitting it, you're kicking it, whatever you're doing, you're trying to pull bags out, you're moving around, the boards aren't going to go anywhere. They're stuck in place. I did a quick video of me throwing four bags just to show you what it's like on concrete. I, to me, concrete is probably one of the most unforgiving surfaces. The carpet has a little bit of give to it. Even a hardwood floor inside has some give. This concrete is just rock solid. This is where boards bounce the most, hop the most when you're throwing. And you can see the boards are, are not moving at all. They're staying still, the bags are landing, and I, I'm, I'm a full 27 feet away. Right? I'm, I'm playing regulation. I'm not, I know it's sometimes hard to tell depth perception from that angle I did, but the boards are staying where they are. Part of it's a testament to the quality of the boards, but it's also a testament to the pucks. The pucks are doing their job, keeping the boards in place. And that's why you're saying, but Mike, I don't play on hard surfaces. I play on grass. I play in my backyard. We tailgate in a grass parking lot. This gel pad is not sticking to grass, dirt, mud, and you're absolutely right. The pucks has a solution for that. Let me show you. You play on grass, you play on dirt, you play on mud, you play on some soft surface and you know the gel pads aren't gonna stick. So what do you do? They put holes in their feet and then they, they, you can get these stakes, these little metal stakes to put in to stake them into the ground to hold them in place. So you're just gonna put your cleats under like normal. I usually use two stakes, so I'm doing that. I just put one kind of opposite corner of each other, right? They're stuck in. And now they're not going anywhere. The next issue you might have is when you're playing on grass, dirt, mud, whatever, some kind of surface like this, it's going to be uneven. Your boards are going to lean one or the other. And that can be frustrating playing. If your boards are leaning to one side, when your back's hit, they're going to go that direction. They're not going to run straight and trip the board. But Pucks has an answer for that. They have these shims that you can buy, little individual shims, and you can put them on as spacers to level your board out. They actually have a little nipple on the shim there, and they have a little indention into the puck. And they're just going to go and they're going to snap in. You can put multiple if you need to. So if you're looking to space up one side more than the other. Pucks also sells an actual board level which clips on the hole or the back of the board. And then you can adjust with the shims to get the boards perfect level front to back, side to side. And then you know you're going to have a perfect playing surface on your boards every time. So what you're saying, but Mike, I don't play on a hard surface. I can't use the sticky gel pad. And I don't play on grass. I can't use the stakes. I play on turf. Pucks has a solution for that as well. 
let me show you. You play on turf, you can't use the sticky gel pad, you can't use the stakes because they won't stick in there. What do you do? Pucks has designed these cleats. You can see the little cleats that stick in there. Those go down into the turf. They won't damage the turf. They're gonna go down. There's enough there with the weight of the boards to still keep the boards from moving. So you just peel off this cover off your gel pad, use that gel pad to stick it to the cleat, like so. Now you just pick it up. You're gonna stick it under the board. You see the weight of the board holds it in place and the board's not going anywhere. I do wanna mention one thing as you're watching me throw here and that's that you'll notice the boards are, are, are bouncing ever so slightly. There's a little bit of gear, a little bit of movement to it. That's not because the pucks aren't doing their job. That's because the turf is an unstable surface. There's give to it. No matter what you do, you're gonna have a give and you really can't take that out of the, the board. You can't remove that because that's just the nature of playing on turf. But what you will notice is the boards aren't moving side to side. They aren't walking forwards or backwards. They're staying in the right place, which still gives you that consistent gameplay. So what's the maintenance on these pucks? It's a pretty simple process. If you're using the gel pads on a hard surface, they're going to get dirty. And as you get more dirt, you're going to lose the stickiness. All you have to do is take them, run them under some water. I use warm water, no detergent, no soaps, nothing like that. Just warm water, scrub them, wipe them clean, let them set, let them air dry. I usually, I usually bring them when I get done playing for the day, I take them home, clean them out, let them set, let them air dry overnight. So it gets about, you know, 24 hours or so for the next day and then I take them out and they're working perfectly fine. I actually have a before and after photo. Top is the before, you can see how dirty they are. The bottom is the after, it's really simple to clean them up. I clean mine about once a week, that's all I do. And I use mine four or five days out of the week when I'm out here filming, sometimes seven days a week if the weather's nice, I'm out here every single day filming or practicing. So for most of you that maybe only go throw once or twice a week, you might be able to get by with two or three weeks, maybe in a month before you're having to clean them. That kind of leads me into my first concern I had in my original video was durability. At the time, I'd been using these about two or three months and I was noticing the gel pad was not quite as sticky as it was brand new. It still had stick to it and I cleaned it. it. Wasn't quite as sticky as it was brand new and I was concerned I was gonna have to replace these gel pads. So if you lose, let me kind of jump ahead or maybe a little bit. If, you, if the gel pads lose stickiness, you can buy just replacement gel pads. Puck sells so You don't have to buy a whole new foot. You don't have to buy a whole new kit. You buy just the gel pads, replace them. I've had these for two years. I use these, like I said, four or five days a week. I, I, I use these 52 weeks out of the year. I mean, I'm out here, I probably do, you know, 200, 250 days out of the year. So I've had almost 500 days of use of using these things and I'm still in the original gel pads. So I haven't done anything other than wash them about once a week is so all I do. And sometimes I've even gone more than a week. I've been a couple weeks where I've actually had the time to wash them and I, and, and they're still working beautifully. So the maintenance is low, the durability is high. Like there's nothing wrong with these, these, this original set I have. The only thing I, I can show you is cosmetic is these little uh, inserts right here have started popping out. And that's because I'm pretty rough. I'm chucking these things around. I'm dropping them. I'm kicking them, stepping on them. Those little inserts will pop out. It's just cosmetic. You can glue them back in if you want to. I actually have them in the box. I keep them just in case, but I, I, it doesn't really matter. It's just a cosmetic thing, but the pucks still work great. So after two years of using them, durability wise, they're very durable. And there's no reason why they won't last me another two years and they're fine. There's no reason they won't last me a lifetime. There's nothing about them that's going to break or wear out other than that gel pad. And if I have to, I can buy a replacement gel pads. I think it's like it's like five bucks for four gel pads, so ten dollars to replace both sets for both boards, which is more than reasonable. And if I'm having to spend ten bucks every two or three years, and again, that's for me using it at the rate I use it for. A lot of you are going to use it a lot less. You can go five, six, maybe seven years. I don't know. It, they're going to last you with no problem whatsoever. You just a little bit of maintenance washing them. Durability is perfect. I have. I, I, I just want to make that clear that that the questions I have with durability, I was wrong. There is no durability questions. These things last forever. The second concern I had in my original video was value. I questioned the price. The kit I bought, I bought the Elite package, which came with everything. The pucks, the shims, the, the cleats, the stakes. It came with the, everything. Every accessory they had came with it. And I bought that because I didn't really need it necessarily, but I wanted to see what came with it. I want to try it out. I want to see it work so I could do a review. But I, when I bought mine, it was like $99 plus shipping. To come to me and at the time i questioned that you know that's a, that's a lot to pay and i was i was concerned as i was questioning durability i wondered if i was about to buy a new set every year and invest a hundred dollars into the the pucks every year that maybe wasn't the greatest value well i could say again i address the durability they're very durable which leads me to the fact that i don't have to replace them every every year i don't have to replace them maybe ever right so a hundred dollars and, and really if i break it down i said i use them 52 weeks a year i've used them for two years that's less than a dollar a week i'm spending out here and every day that i use them the value is going to get better and better because i'm not having to put any money into them and on top of that and i give kudos to pucks on this not only have they not raised the price in two years they've actually reduced the price so if you go now to buy a set pucks has a website puckscornhole.com if you go there if you want to buy the elite package which is what i have right now it's 85 dollars Plus, it's $9 shipping to you. So $94 shipped to you, which is $15 less than what I paid two years ago. 
even better value. And if you don't need all the accessories, if you just want the pucks, if you're playing on a hard surface and you're not planning on playing in grass, you're not planning on playing on turf, you know, you don't need any of the other accessories, you can buy just the pucks and it's like $65 for for a pack of the pucks themselves plus the $9 ship. So $74 shipped to you for just the pucks, which is an even better deal. And if you want just the pucks and maybe you want the shims, you don't need, you don't need the cleats or you want the cleats, you don't need the shims or anything else, you can buy just the pucks and then buy what accessory you want. Now, if you're buying multiple accessories at that point, you're probably getting better off buying the whole elite package, but you can mix and match just what you need to only buy what you're going to use. So it's a phenomenal value. It's a great deal. They're gonna last you forever. And that's why I wanted to bring this out and say, I was wrong in my first video to say I questioned durability. I was wrong to say I questioned the value. I, mean, I have tried in the last two years to find something better. I have tried other ideas. I have bought all kinds of crazy things to put on the bottom of the boards, the corners of the boards, things that weren't designed for boards at all. Things that were designed for furniture, for baby cribs, for window sills, a window trim. I've tried everything out there and nothing works as well and is as easy to use as this puck system. If you're, if you're playing outdoors and you're tired of moving your boards around, go get yourself a set of pucks, lock your boards down, take away the frustration and the stress and improve your gameplay out there. I, I just, I, go get yourself a set. You're, you're, you won't be disappointed in that. If you use the pucks, drop a comment down below. I love to hear you guys' opinions and feedback on, on, on what you think about them. So drop a comment, let me know. If you have any questions, drop a comment, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about them or maybe something I didn't address here. But I thank you guys so much for your support and I thank you for watching.